Hello, Carolyn and Kara the Frail and Complex Older Adult Classmates. We are team number three and we'll be presenting information related to topic number five, which is nutrition. Collectively, we decided to review the literature and provide information about the implications of the improper use of dentures and the nutritional problems they may cause for the older adult. Misty Schlegel will be providing information related to malnutrition. Our second team member, Lisa Mintar, will be covering the topic of wounds, followed by Winnie Chi detailing food bolus impaction, and lastly, Domino Poussin providing insight into speech and communication. The topic that we will be presenting today is related to topic number five, nutrition, as mentioned by Misty. And the title of our presentation is Improper Use of Dentures Causing Problems in Nutrition of Older Adults. We chose this topic because we some of our are working in a nursing home or long-term care facility, and this is one of the problems that we, the team, wanted to address. According to the World Health Organization 2019, malnutrition is a global problem, and it is the leading cause of death and disease globally. We decided to make this topic our campaign to raise awareness among healthcare providers and patients in maintaining nutrition to patients and using dangers. Malnutrition can present itself in various ways. Most commonly, the patient is seen to have a weakened immune system resulting in increased risk of infection and unturned wound healing. They may also present with disease, muscle mass and bone density resulting in reduced energy, weight loss, and increased risk of fractures and falls. Many factors influence poor nutrition in older adults. Some of these factors include age-related changes, the decreased taste, smell, and appetite, medications, which can affect appetite, GI upset, leading to altered nutri nutrient absorption, dementia, that can affect memory around remembering to eat and or buying food, limited income and social supports, which cannot afford nutrient-rich foods, living rurally, eating alone, or depression, impaired ability to eat, the changes in chewing or swallowing, physical changes within mouth like tooth loss or denture. Dentures allow individuals without a complete set of teeth to chew. Dentures also increase an individual's quality of life, experiencing a sense of achievement, pride, intactness, oral functions, and comfort. Dentures provide one's natural smile that improves self-esteem and positive image of individual. Although there are several advantages of dentures use, the improper use of dentures among the elderly population brings various dental health problems. Dentures are only about 25 to 35 percent as efficient as natural teeth as the tissue of the mouth undergo constant changes, which may result in loose or improper dentures, which may cause damage to the mouth tissues and cause mouth sores, gum, mouth infection, or wounds. Hi, I'm Misty Schlegel, and I will discuss the problems of nutrition brought about by the improper use of dentures in older adults. Tooth loss is common with aging. It is estimated that roughly, quote, 13% of people aged 65 to 74 have no teeth, and that number jumps to 26% for people ages 75 and older, according to Altamar 2019. The primary treatment for tooth loss is through artificial replacement of teeth by using dentures. There are two different types of dentures. The first is complete dentures, also known as false teeth. Complete dentures replace all of the teeth in the mouth and are held in place by suction. The second type is partial dentures. Partial dentures replace a few missing teeth and are placed by a mounting system that adheres to the neighboring natural teeth. These types of dentures can be permanently fixed or removable and are custom made by a dentist or prosthodontist. Proper use of dentures in the older adult can improve their general oral health, their facial appearance, their ability to speak and chew, and enhance their quality of life and confidence. Although dentures can help improve certain physical, physiological, and psychological factors, their use can have many drawbacks for the older adult. One major complication for patients is malnutrition. According to the Merriam-Webster 2021 definition, malnutrition is defined as, quote, faulty nutrition due to inadequate or unbalanced intake of nutrients or their impaired assimilation or utilization, end quote. Many different complications related to denture use influence the likelihood of malnutrition in older adults, such as 
if your dentures, you have an improper fit creating friction, which can cause sores in the mouth and infection. Dentures can create a decreased chewing ability, a decreased bite force, and decreased taste or texture sensation due to covering of the palate and the tongue. Additional complications with denture use include that they can slip, move, or fall out as the person speaks or chews. They may change, change a person's appearance. They can stimulate a person's gag reflex, and they can create speech problems. Some of the foods that patients avoid due to the use of dentures include meats such as steak or stringy meat textures, fish, fruits such as apples, vegetables such as corn, and nuts all of which contribute to decreased nutritional intake, causing malnutrition in the older adult. So what can the patient or caregiver do once it is determined that their dentures are putting them in a nutritional deficit? Firstly, you can provide education to the patient and or the caregiver. You would provide routine evaluation by appointments through their dentist or prosthodontist. You could make referrals to a dietitian, a speech language pathologist, a communicative disorders assistant and or a nurse. You could arrange meal delivery services to customize their meals according to their dietary needs, to their texture, likes, and their cultural preferences. You would additionally monitor their weight. You would review all of their medications and provide vitamin supplementation. The objective of the nurse caring for the older adult with malnutrition related to complications with denture use is to provide support to maintain health and quality of life. Hello, I'm Winnie Hello, I'm Winnie and I will discuss the, sec the third problem presented in this presentation, which is the risk of food bolus impaction related to denture use. Problem arising from poor fitting dentures can occur to age-related changes in the mouth. The changes include shrinkage and bone of the jaw, causing misalignment. Also, having loose fitting dentures may result in a sore spot in the, in the mouth, causing stomach problem due to not being able to chew food properly. Loose fitting denture can also change a person's facial features and affect communication. If a patient's dentures are not properly fit, they may refuse to wear their, them while eating, res resulting in a chunk of food getting stuck in their throat. This condition called the food bolus impaction or known as steakhouse syndrome. This happens when solid foods such as piece of meat or vegetable are not chewed sufficiently and swallowed and they caught in the windpipe or in the food pipe. This is a life-threatening condition of choking when a piece of food is blocking the trach. Food bolus impaction is more common in older adults and men. Dentures are a risk factor and it's more difficult to chew with dentures than with natural teeth or dentures are not worn while eating. Signs and symptoms of food bolus impaction is that person is usually aware that food is stuck it's uncomfortable and can cause chest pain that feels like a heart attack. The person can swallow anything, including saliva, and continue drooling. Presented in this slide are the complications of food bolus impaction, perforation of the esophagus when impaction lasts more than about 12 hours. Solution, an, an endoscope will be inserted into the throat and esophagus to push the food to the stomach or grabs it, pulling it away. An additional complication is the aspiration pneumonia due to food bolus impaction that goes to the lungs, leading to potentially fatal lung inflammation. Another complication is the aspiration pneumonia due to unclean dentures, leading to inhaling and remaining food debris around the teeth and dentures. Food bolus impaction is a serious problem that needs to be addressed immediately. Following are the solution that help prevent food bolus impaction and maintain the health of the older adult. Dentures should feed properly to avoid sores or difficulty, difficulty eating. Properly fitted dentures encourage the person to wear them, especially during mealtime. This makes eating more comfortable and increase the risk of having food bolus. Second, schedule routine dental appointment as a denture need periodic adjustment, occasional relining or replacement to ensure a proper fit. Additional, brush and clean dentures regularly and thoroughly to prevent buildup of plague, tartar, and fungal infection. Denture wearers should follow a healthy diet and avoid chewing hard food. Hi, I'm Flor Deliza Minta, and I'll be discussing the third problem in this presentation, wounds. Dentures can cause wounds or ulceration in oral mucosa, 
causing pain and inability to eat, therefore being a factor of malnutrition. Improper dentures causing pain and discomfort. Elderly gums changes over time, causing dentures won't fit properly. Mouth sores. Improper use of dentures causes irritation of the soft tissue causing cuts and sores. Bacterial infection. Inflammation of the gums or gingiva. That causes improper use of dentures causing gum infection. These conditions are favorable in developing oral ulcers, decreasing food and fluid intakes, which leads to malnutrition. Malnutrition impedes the healing of existing wounds. Malnourished older people can have pressure ulcers, infections, and delayed wound healing, resulting in chronic non-healing wounds. The following are the solutions to prevent the development of ulcers in the mouth and that might affect the fluid and food intakes of the elderly, resulting in the development of wounds or the non-healing of wounds. Clean your dentures daily by soaking the dentures overnight in a denture cleaner, by thoroughly clean them each morning before putting them in your mouth, or use a soft bristle brush or special denture cleanser. Clean your mouth daily by clean and massage your gums, tongue, and roof of your mouth each day before putting in your dentures. This will help keep your mouth healthy. Make sure your dentures fit. The dentures need to be adjusted, modified, or replaced by your dentist. Never try to adjust yourself. Use an adhesive. Help your dentures stay in place and make them feel more secure and comfortable. Upon reading the literature regarding denture and reflecting on their relationships to wounds, I realized that a simple issue with the denture could affect the body and lead to a more serious integumentary problem such as wounds. Hi, this is Domino Poisson. I will discuss the fourth problem for those older population who are using dentures which results to the problem with speech and communication. Problem in speech are prevalent for those who use dentures. Dentures can cause irreversible problems like feeling full, not being used to dentures, and increased salivation. Unfortunately, dentures cause several irreversible issues. For instance, the jaw bone loss and a big part in the development of bone recession that needs readjustment or relining every few months. This condition impacts the speech or communication of an older person using dentures and the patient's nutrition. Presented in these slides are the speech problems resulting from wearing off dentures. The first one is lisping. Dentures are a foreign object that occupies space in the mouth because, excessive production, because of excessive production of saliva, it results in a frequent and intentional mumble. Gargle types of speech. This is due to excessive saliv salivation, which causes the dentures to start moving, resulting in gargling or rinsing when they speak. The next one is whistling sound and whistling sound while forming certain words. This is due to the front part of the dentures, which are positioned differently from the original teeth, which causes the whistling sounds that come along with lisping sounds. And the last one is feeling full. This is a feeling of fullness in the mouth that happens in wearing dentures for the first time. Having experienced these problems can lead to nutritional problems of the older adult because they cannot communicate the food they want or any issues they have with the food they are consuming. The following are the three reasons why dentures can interfere with speech, as, um, as quoted from Strickland 2015. The first one is that dentures change resonance. So the mouth has a particular resonance chamber before, dent before the dentures, and dentures take up more of the space, leading to a change in how resonance in the mouth. Improperly fit dentures are filling the mouth and making it hard to speak. The second one is that dentures with wrong height. So dentures can be too short or too long, causing sore in the jaw and after eating. Number three, dentures are loose. So the tongue is spending so much time trying to control the dentures, losing focus on speech. There are two solutions identified in this discussion. The first one is, is to fix, is fixed tooth replacement. It is a permanent solution for those who wear dentures because they resemble natural teeth. And the second is that well-fitted dentures are essential to being able to speak clearly. How does the improper use of dentures cause alterations in communications and speech? 
affecting the older patient's nutrition. According to Tewari et al. 2019, and I quote, poor communication can result in various negative outcomes, such as decreased adherence to treatment, patient's dissatisfaction, and inefficient use of resources. Upon reflection on this statement, it would also mean that if the patient cannot participate in meal planning and therapeutic diet, it would impact their nutritional status while living a life using dentures. In our conclusion, our group realized that as people age, their dentures don't change, but their mouths do. Also, dentures should fit and worn properly. According to Davenport, 2019 suggests that to keep dentures in a shape and have them properly maintained, Clients need to have a regular dental visit and proper care to keep their mouth healthy. The elderly population who, use, who uses improper dentures suffers from various oral problems. Improper use of dentures have, has a detrimental effect on their quality of life. Proper treatment and counseling are needed to increase confidence and lower th this problem. Therefore, dentures help improve overall health, health by allowing chewing food more efficiently However, replacing missing teeth is not enough to resolve an, an individual nutritional status. The group agrees and adopts the idea from Davenport 2019 that using dentures has to be accompanied by proper diet and counseling. And this ends our presentation of the final assignment in the course, Care of the Frail and Complex of Older Adults. We want to thank each member of this group for working so hard to produce this presentation. Thank you for listening and have a great day. And the following are our references.